Jamie, what a fantastic win this afternoon. What was it about that victory that pleased you most? Um, I think good teams find ways to win. Um, you know, places like Peterborough are really difficult to come to. They had their moments in the first half, um, you know, where we had to stand strong. Monty's pulled off one or two really good saves. Um, but I think, you know, the, the determination, the togetherness, the, you know, the, the hard work and effort that we put in, it was the real ugly side of the game that we had to get right today. Um, and I thought we'd done that really well, you know, to come here and pick up a clean sheet is absolutely massive. And obviously, two moments of quality win us the game, but um, super proud of everyone involved. Um, I thought, you know, at times, like I say, we had to really be a bit backs against the wall, but we've stood up to it really strong. Um, and um, I'm absolutely delighted with the reaction after this, after last Saturday as well. I know for players it does, it, it, it probably feels better, doesn't it, when you've had to really earn a victory like they did because, as you say, it was hard work and we, we had to you know, defend really doggedly at times today. Yeah, I think I think every game in this league is just a different challenge. Um, and, you know, I said it, to, I think I said it to the other week, you know, you've got to embrace it. And, um, you know, the pitch is a bit difficult here at times, you know, to load long balls on you, to put balls down channels. And, you know, you've got to stand up to that first and foremost. Were we, you know, fluent in possession? Were we nice on the eye? Probably not, but we dug deep. Um, we rolled our sleeves up, like I say, and, um, you know, we found them moments of quality when it mattered. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a perfect second half away display for us today. And talking about those moments of quality, Glenn ever so close to, to adding to his early season tally, but Danny Greenfield there to get his second of the year. Yeah, delighted for Danny. Um, you know, and when you've got your attacking players, um, obviously scoring goals, we had Rama get a few the other night. We've got Glenn and Will and, and Danny now on a few. You know, it's it's really pleasing. Um, and if you can keep clean sheets, you know, like we've done the, the two away games that we've had, you know, with that quality on the pitch, that you know you're going to get opportunities and you're going to create ch create chances. Like I say, I don't think we were fluent in possession. You know, we we had a little bit of a pop at the players and demanded a little bit more in terms of that. But the application, the attitude, and obviously the moment at the end there with the supporters is, is what it's all about when you come away from home and pick up three points. Yeah, that was a fantastic celebration at the end, wasn't it? And, the, you know, 60 or 70 fans, I didn't get, we didn't get a figure, but they were in fine voice throughout that second half. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Um, you know, we spoke after the Banbury game and they were the same there, you know, the travel in the numbers, um, you know, to get right behind us. And obviously last Saturday was a difficult moment for them. It was a difficult moment for us all, but, you know, a huge credit. You know, they backed us on Tuesday night. They've travelled a long way down here today and that's for them. When we come away and we pick up points like that, it's it's a little reward back for all, you know, their, their hard work, all their effort to come and get behind us and support us. So absolutely delighted for everyone involved at the club today. That's three and three now for Will Harris. How pleased have you been with his progress since he arrived at the club? He's brilliant. He's learning loads. Um, he's learning loads off Andy and Lewis. He's learning loads off Glenn Taylor. Um, and he looks a real threat. You know, I had no doubt in my mind when he took that ball in front of him where yeah. it was going. Um, and that's the confidence he's given me as a manager. And I'm absolutely delighted with him. He's, he's an absolute superb character. Really good character in around the training ground. Really good in the dressing room. And he's he's a winner. Um, you know, and we absolutely love working with Will. And you know, long may that continue from. And coming towards the end of the first month of the season, we've given ourselves a really strong platform here, haven't we? We've set a standard. Yeah, we have, and we've got to maintain that. Um, you know, it's all about momentum in, in this league. It's all about putting a few wins together. And you know, what we don't want, what we didn't want to be today was, you know, after a really positive display on Saturday, not backing it up today. That was really important. That we could show we could go and get back-to-back -back wins. And like I say this is a really difficult place to come. They've got a style of play which is which is hard to play against. But we've stood up to it, brilliant. And um, it's it's give us real good momentum. Um, I think someone's mentioned but we're second in the league at the minute. And but you know, no matter whether it's early in the season, late in the season. And you, you want to be at that top end of the table and that's been our ambition since day one of pre-season um, we've got a really tough weekend next week too you know really tough games different challenges but we'll prepare really really well this week we'll enjoy this moment tonight but we'll switch our minds on to a difficult weekend and prepare right for that just finally a small negative on this afternoon Michael Ledger forced off mm. in the second half he's been excellent so far this season do you know much about that? Um, he's picked up a little twinge in his hamstring. Um, you, you know, with Ledger, it's something you know not great if he's going to come off the pitch. He, he's he's an unsung hero week in and week out. I think you know people have really started to appreciate him at the football club because he goes about his business really quiet. But his display so far, you know, even this afternoon up until he eventually had to go off the pitch, he was superb. And you know, hopefully it's not a uh, not a bad one. You know, he's in good hands with Rob, and um, you know, we wish him well with the recovery and hopefully he's back with us pretty soon.